when my community was telling me I should have also checked it at the computer, I want you guys to understand why I said, no, I do not. Because I was dealing with a pull down design and I had a good signal measured at the sensor. Why is that important to know? Because we know the computer's sourcing the voltage this way. We know that if an open exists in that circuit, you can't have a good signal here. It's not possible. We also know that if this wire was shorted to ground, you can't have a good signal here. It would be fixed at zero all the time. We also know if the computer was a problem and not sourcing this voltage out, we can't have a good signal here. It's not physically possible. Why? How do we know that? Because we understand circuit design. Let's say hypothetically the engine computer, it wasn't on this Liberty, but hypothetically the engine computer is under the center console and you're living the rust belt and you've got to unbolt maybe the, the seat, uh, which you can't unbolt because the nuts like half rotted off. And then uh, the center console, it's really cold out and it's winter time. So you're breaking plastic, trying to, you're trying to get to the engine computer to test the wire at the computer because you want to make sure that the signal's good at the computer. Do you understand you don't have to do any of that if it's a pull down design and the signal is good measured at the sensor? Do you understand you don't have to do that? You with me? How important is pull up and pull down circuitry? How important is it to understand your variables between the two and how it affects your testing methods through it? I'm emphasizing this over and over because I want you guys to understand how I can accurately say to someone who's super intelligent in our field that maybe doesn't have a good grasp of this part and I can say to them, no sir, I don't need to check at the computer. I don't have to because it's pull down design.